Thank you. So um, yeah, today we're going to talk a little bit about the past, present, and future of the Lightning Network, more specifically about uh, Lightning Network applications. Um, so um, the Lightning Network was a paper released in 2016. Um, and uh, just to get a feel from the audience, uh, how many people here know what the Lightning Network is by show of hands? OK, cool. And keep your hand up if you've actually used it at least one time. OK, so most people do know what it is. Um, so the Lightning Network uh, basically is a network of payment channels. So if A has a payment channel with B and B has a payment channel with C, A can send money to C through uh, the B. Uh, person, right? So um, it, was, it was a paper released in 2016, and just two years after the paper was released, we had three big companies uh, with their own Lightning implementations, right? So we have Blockstream with C Lightning, we have Async with Eclair, and Lightning Labs with LD. And they all released pretty much around the same time, uh, March 2018. But we had a few people uh, uh, that were running Lightning Network on the mainnet even before the network was actually ready. So we have like a picture of uh, an early look at the uh, nodes in the network. We had like 19 nodes in the eight channels, which is um, an early look on the network. And TourGuard actually uh, was accepting payments through mainnet. And they, they sell things like uh, VPNs and stuff like that. Um, and they were accepting it in like January 2018, months before the implementation was actually ready. So that, that's why the hashtag reckless uh, meme was born. Um, BitRefill was also one of the first companies accepting Lightning payments. Um, they released um, their Lightning payments um, acceptance on mainnet, and shortly after uh, releasing it, they were already one of the biggest nodes in the network, and they continue to be to this day. Um, then um, Lightning Koala released Satoshi's Place, uh, one of the biggest viral hits um, that uh, uses the Lightning network. And the, um, Satoshi's Place is pretty much a digital art board where you can pay one, pix one Satoshi to paint one pixel in the board. So if you want to draw an image that takes 1,000 pixels, you pay 1,000 sets, and everyone in the world can see um, your drawings. So this is um, a little uh, video of how the uh, digital art board evolved for the first few months. And people were drawing uh, crazy things and uh, advertising their stores. And uh, it evolved very quickly. And, it had tens of thousands of transactions um, through the Lightning Network. So uh, shortly after Koala released um, Satoshi's Place, we had uh, Joao that released um, Pokitoshi, which is a Pokemon emulator that runs uh, on Twitch. And everyone in the world can uh, send inputs to the game um, by paying 100 sets, and you, you will see the inputs in the game in real time. So you just press the buttons on the controller, and you pay a microtransaction with Lightning, and you will see the uh, character moving on top. And everyone in the world can do the same, um, and uh, everyone will see each, other, each other's plays. And the goal would obviously be to uh, complete the game uh, in this multiplayer uh, micropayments way. Uh, also in June, I released Lightning Spin, and Lightning Spin uh, is like a fun, simplified roulette that lives on, lives on the Lightning Network. Um, it looks like this, so you can input like a microtransaction and simply sp uh, pay per spin, spin the wheel, and if you win, it can withdraw uh, your earnings instantly. So it's not, um, it's not like you have to top up your wallet and then um, wait some kind of limit. You can instantly pay per spin and withdraw your earnings. And the application right now is at hundreds of thousands of payments through the Lightning Network without ever hitting the, the actual base chain, right? So this was also released in June. So June was a good month for Lightning apps. Um, Sergio Abril later in the year, in the year released Tip and Me. It's like um, a custodial service that only works on Lightning. And everyone can sign in using, using their Twitter account and create a customized payment page for their, um, for their own uh, Twitter account where people can send tips if they like your tweets. And later on, they built uh, a Chrome extension. So if you see a tweet that you like, you can actually tip that person directly on Twitter and send uh, some stats their way uh, because you appreciated their tweet. Um, a company called Fold released Lightning Pizza. Uh, which is a service that allows you to buy Domino's Pizza using Lightning Network. And um, it kind of throws you back to that one guy that uh, spent 10,000 coins on a single pizza or a couple pizzas. So we had our friends uh, Ripple Maximalists 
saying that uh, 10 years later, we're all still focused on ordering pizza while they are actually working with uh, central banks and uh, IMF. So uh, there you have it. Um, someone released um, uh, the first uh, pinball machine that uh, accepts lightning payments, so I'm sure you guys uh, tried them out during the conference. Uh, BTC so Socialist uh, made that happen, and this is how it looks. It's just uh, scan a QR code, and you don't need to have quarters or there's no credit cards. You just pay a lightning transaction, and you can use um, your sats in an actual physical machine. Someone also released Poyo Feed, which is a live stream of um, some chickens, and you can pay a microtransaction to feed the chickens, and you see a live stream of the chickens getting fed in real time. So it's a very silly example of the things you can do when you have access to microtransactions. So if you want to build a Lightning application, you should use your own node, but using your own node has some drawbacks. And we built the solution at OpenNode, which is the company I work for, that allows you to build a, any of these Lightning applications in a very, very easy way without having to maintain your node, without having to put up and lock up Bitcoin in Lightning channels. Um, so there are a lot of Lightning-only experiences that you can build using the Lightning Network. So all of these experiences we uh, I presented were all based on micropayments, so you were sending very, very low dollar amounts, sometimes even fractions of a cent. So that's a Lightning-only um, experience. There's HODL invoices, which are special kinds of invoices that are not paid right away. Um, and you can do th things like um, two people pay a HODL invoice, and then they play a game, and only the uh, winner, uh, only the loser actually pays their HODL invoice, and the money gets sent to the other person. And there's also things like payment streaming, which will be possible once uh, wallets uh, um, supported, and uh, also the protocol, obviously, which will allow you to be constantly streaming payments while you are, for example, watching a YouTube video. You're constantly streaming a feed of Satoshis to the video creator to, for example, have an ad-free experience. So uh, this is how you can do it using OpenNode. It's like six lines of code can get you up and running. Uh, this is, we have uh, libraries for most major uh, programming languages. This is an example using JavaScript. Four lines of code is really what it takes to create a Lightning application. This was all the code that I needed to build Lightning Spin, which then went on to make hundreds of thousands of transactions. Um, and the Lightning part was pretty much it. And OpenNode is very... Um, open uh, in the sense that we have a very uh, comprehensive API, which allows you to not only receive payments, but send payments out. So you have full control of your Bitcoin um, using our API, which allows you to do things like a uh, lightning spin, you pay per spin, but then programmatically you send the money out to, uh, to your users. So this is how you would do it uh, using uh, JavaScript. So this is how our dashboard looks. We have um, a fully responsive website. You can use it on your mobile phone, on your desktop. And we have a unified uh, Bitcoin wallet. So it doesn't matter if you got your money on-chain, your Bitcoin on-chain, or through a Lightning channel and which Lightning channel. We just give you access to your, a Bitcoin balance, and you can withdraw it uh, any way you like, on-chain, through, through your Lightning channel. It doesn't matter. We make it very, very simple for you to accept, to accept Bitcoin. So um, thank you for your time. I hope uh, this little brief history of the Lightning Network inspired you to build uh, Lightning Network applications, and if you want to reach out to us, the best way to do it is through Twitter. We're at OpenNode Co., and it, you can visit our website at OpenNode.co. Thank you.